welcome to my YouTube channel. A bit of a fledgling attempt for me here, but uh, as you'll see from the name, it's called Guitars and Things. Chances are I'm going to talk about guitars and things. And uh, if I'm talking to you, it probably spares my family the boredom of having to listen to me. So as it's my first video, I apologise for any glitches that occur along the way. Uh, but I thought I'd do something I've been meaning to do for a while. About a year ago, I bought myself a Patrick James Eggle 96, which is a Strat type guitar, except the guitar in question has twin humbuckers. And at the time, I was wondering if I could get away with having this guitar as my only Strat. And uh, I did some reviews, I listened to the stuff online, I asked people questions, and uh, it seemed like the single coil type sounds, even though it's a twin humbucker guitar, were pretty reasonable and I took the plunge and decided I'd give it a go. So here's what it looks like. Uh, there you go, there's a stunning guitar, beautiful UK built guitar. And um, so yeah, there it is. Patrick James Eggle, 96. Until recently I didn't actually have a genuine single coil equipped guitar to try it against, but I've, uh, I've currently got this one in my possession. It's a 1993 Fender Strat Plus. And so I thought, what a great opportunity to actually try the guitars side by side and see how the Patrick James Eggle fares as a single coil guitar. So there's a push-pull on the tone control to enable you to split those humbucker pickups and approximate a single coil kind of sound. Um, I've already done a bit of the donkey work on this. I've spent a bit of time comparing the two guitars and working out which Strat settings the Patrick James Eggle is most comparable to. And uh, from my sort of preliminary tests, I would say that the middle pickup position, so both pickups together on the Patrick James Eggle in the split coil mode, roughly uh, are comparable to position two. So the bridge and the middle pickup on the Strat. And then likewise, if I flick over to the neck humbucker on the Patrick James Eggle in split coil mode, it's most similarly comparable to the middle position on the Strat. So let me give you a quick demo of what the guitars sound like. First of all, I'm no virtuoso on the guitar. I just like the things and I dabble. Um, so apologies for the playing. Uh, you're not going to get some great kind of shreddy demo here. What you are going to get is something that tells you what the guitars sound like. So here we are again. This is the 1993 Fender Strat Plus with the Lace Sensor pickups. I've got it set to position two, which is the bridge and middle pickup. It's running through a Mesa Boogie uh, Express 525 with no effects except a little bit of reverb. And this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Strat-like. And then here we are with the Patrick James Eggle. It's an ash body. Pickups are made by Mojo. They're hand wound in the UK. It's got an ebony fretboard, got a stunning uh, roasted maple neck. And here's what it sounds like in the middle position. So both pickups, uh, but with the tone control pulled out to give you a split coil sound. <laughs> similar and certainly a good approximation of that number two position on the Strat. So jumping back to the Strat we are now in the middle position, middle pickup only, which adds a bit more depth to the tone, a little bit more mid-range coming through, loses a little bit of that bright twanginess. Here's how it sounds. <laughs> To the Patrick James Eggle and currently I've selected the neck pickup only, tone control pulled out for the coil split sound and here's what it sounds like. <laughs> So 
So again, a little bit more depth to the tone, a little bit more mid-range. We've lost some of the bright twang of the middle position. So there you have it, a quick comparison of my Patrick James Eggle 19, uh, not 1996, 96 model, actually named after a road in America, one of Patrick's favourite roads or something along those lines. So Patrick James Eggle 96, uh, sorry about the poor camera work, compared to a fairly uh, standard 1993 Strat Plus. Um, clearly a, a humbucker equipped guitar will never be quite as stratty sounding as something with proper single coils um, but hopefully the comparison shows that actually those humbuckers split really well on the 96 and uh, and for me who who generally i'm a, a one sort of strat owner um, it certainly does the job and gets me close enough to the sound i'm after so if you're still here and you've uh, managed to tolerate this video through to the bitter end thank you and uh, i shall try and uh, add some more and uh, hone my skills as a uh, YouTuber and uh, I might uh, I might see you again if you brave it. Cheers. <laughs>